Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the ultimate lefty deck from Magicka Planet. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and do you want to know a secret? Do you want to know a secret? I am left-handed, which is the opposite of what Anigo Montoya says in The Princess Bride. But uh, <laughs> That was random. I, I am left-handed. I am left-handed. Uh, yeah, I, I've had to live as a left-handed person in a right-handed world my entire life. Uh, most difficult thing, probably scissors when I was growing up, but not now. You know, I've pretty much learned to adapt. Uh, I don't have any troubles today. I still hold pencils a little strange, but that's just, that's neither here nor there. The thing about what we're going to look at today, the ultimate lefty deck, ultimate lefty deck, is why would left-handed people need their own deck? Let me show you a picture. This is what happens when a left-handed person spreads a deck the way we're taught normally, right? The pips are at the wrong end. The pips are at the magician side, and they're not at the spectator side. Usually when you fan cards, you want the pips to be at the spectator's end so they can see uh, the pips. So you either learn to fan it uh, a different way, right? But you learn to fan the way right-handed people fan, or uh, you fan on a table. So uh, it's a little easier for a left-handed person to fan on a table. And then you can see all the pips nice and clean. But more often than not, we get it a little backwards. And so you make a lefty deck for left-handed magicians so we can fan normally, and then the spectator can see the pips and indices. Um, the only weird thing would be I think spectators who are very familiar with cards, right? Because we're all at a little different variation of you know how familiar we are. Spectators very familiar with cards would probably notice, hey, the pips are in the wrong places. Like with the left-handed deck, the uh, pips are in the top right and bottom left, which is different, right? But other than that, everything with this deck and a standard bicycle deck is going to be exactly the same. In fact, this is even the classic back, so it has the classic rider back back on the tuck case. It doesn't have the Ten of Hearts reveal that we've seen on the new tuck cases. Literally the only thing different between a uh, standard deck and this deck is it just says Ultimate Lefty in the title, but that's it. And if it was, you thought it was weird, you could just say, I'm left-handed. <laughs> uh, the other thing is the tutorial link is at the bottom of the tuck case. Uh, it'll give you access to a tutorial that's one hour and 46 minutes long. And the deck does come in blue and red. I've been doing reviews for the Bicycle Special decks that have come from Magicka Planet and Manolo. This is part of that series. So uh, I have a whole playlist of these trick decks and they're all available uh, through Murphy's Magic. And some of them are only a couple of bucks. This one's eight, eight dollars, eight dollars. Now some of the more, uh, more elaborate gaff decks are a little bit more but they all come with teaching and they all come as specialized gaff decks. And so this is a, a left-handed deck and it comes with two gaffs, okay? So the first gaff is there is a 10 of hearts on one side and a 52 on one card on the other side, okay? Which is a, a reveal card. And then the other card this comes with is a mist pipped queen, mist pipped red queen. So it's the Boave queen, right? It's, that's, that's a good enough way to say it. It's the Boave queen. The red one, so <laughs> you understand. Is it what I thought? Yes. I mean, these have been made before. Uh, Card Shark, right? Uh, Christian Shank from Card Shark. Christian released what we believe was the first true left-handed deck back in 2009. Uh, Kevin Rylick from Penguin Magic, he's had a left-handed deck come out as well. You could even pick up a cheap version of a left-handed deck at leftiesleftHanded.com. So left-handed decks are they're everywhere. They're everywhere. This is not, this is not something new. The new part to, to this is full bicycle, red and blue, and comes with an hour and 46 minutes of teaching. Now, why would you need teaching for a standard deck? Well, there are some fun gaffy type things that you can do with the two gaff cards that come with it, or just the fact that you can now have a whole deck of mirror cards, right? Because that's what a left-handed deck becomes, is if you had a standard deck and the left-handed deck, then you have an entire deck of cards that mirror each other, right? As in the peel apart mirror, right? Yes. Well, except for the fact that the cards aren't reversed. Like the numbers aren't reversed, they're still legible, but 
eh, mirrored a little bit. So in the video, you're gonna get seven routines, okay? Seven routines, and then several variations on those routines. So even though by the time they get to trick three, you're like, yay, now let's learn trick four. You don't learn trick four next. You learn four variations on trick three, okay? So at the end of the day, there's seven tricks that are taught in that one hour and 46 minutes. I'll give you some examples of some of the things you'll learn. In the video, he talks about what a left-handed deck is, why it's needed, and then what comes in the deck. And then he'll go over some of the tricks. And then the first one is a selected card is ends up being the only one in an all blank deck. And for that, of course, you need a blank card, which they don't provide. The second trick is where uh, it, it becomes a mirror card, just like I mentioned earlier. The, you, you move the pips. So the, move, the pips are uh, in the top left and bottom right, and then you move them so that they're in the top right and bottom left. The third trick is an invisible deck style trick where any card they named uh, becomes reversed in the deck. The fourth trick is a brainwave style deck trick so that any card they named becomes the only blue backed card in the deck. Uh, the fifth trick is an invisible deck style trick where the kicker is and all the rest of the cards are blank. And then the sixth trick is the same, is you know any card selected and all the cards are blank. And then the trick even after that is another variation. So there's five variations just to the third trick that's taught. Uh, they're gonna teach you how to use the 52 on one card trick as a reveal. And I think they'll give you two or three tricks um, with that. And then one of the last tricks they're gonna teach you is how to use the left-handed deck with a deck switch. So let's say you have a regular deck and the left-handed deck, right? You have a card freely selected out of one, right? switch the decks, have that card fairly returned, shuffled, and then of course, it's gonna be easy to find their card, right? And they're gonna give you several variations on that as well. Slides and difficulty level, um, not only just on this video, but all the special deck videos that Magic Planet and Manolo have released they're all beginning level tricks. They use very minimal slights. Of course, you'll learn things like double lifts and holding a break and forces, but they teach you how to do all those things in the videos. So this is a great uh, tutorial video for beginners, but you don't have to be intermediate, advanced. You'll figure it out, right? Absolutely. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? I think this has been a wonderful series. Uh, the special decks that have been coming out from Magicka Planet, Manolo, Murphy's Magic released, um, there's like seven, eight of these decks. They all come with video tutorials. They all give you different types of gaffs. It's been a, it's been a gaff masterclass purchasing each one of these. And so the great thing about it is you as the consumer get to mix and match. You get to buy the trick deck that you want. Sometimes we get a lot of those gaffs and we're like, I would never use these. Like I like these gaffs, but I don't like these. And you don't really get a choice when you buy one of those kind of all in one gaff decks. But with this, now you get to really pick and choose. Like you might not need a left-handed deck or want those cards. And so now you don't have to get them, but, or you, you might. So there's the, you know, the, the mispipped index, uh, there's the blanks. So there's, a, there's all kinds of other trick decks. Make sure you go back through the playlist that I built for this series and you'll see all the different decks that are available. But th they went above and beyond as far as teaching. I mean, what, what would they really have taught you on a deck that's just for left-handed people, right? Especially when it's a standard deck, but they found ways, they found ways to give you tricks. And so I think that's a lot of fun. Negatives, I think the only negative for this one was there was more variations on the tricks that I was prepared for, I guess. <laughs> There's a lot of variations. Every time I thought they were gonna get to a new trick, they're like, and let's show you another variation. Instead of just saying, or you could do this, this, or this, they kind of made each one of those a separate submission, which made the video a little longer. I don't know that I needed it to be that long since a lot of these were variation effects. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fine. And that's everything. That's everything I can say about the Bicycle Ultimate Lefty deck. Like I said, you can get this in red or blue from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. It's only eight bucks and it comes with almost two hours of teaching. So I hope I've answered questions for you or at least introduced you to something that you didn't know anything about. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, that helps me out a ton. That's my favorite way for you to say thank you. And of course, they're available from your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would, 
Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.